This training video will review the tempo feature found in Video Surgeon version 2. And let's start by just dragging this slider. And when we do that, you can see that the range is from 25 to 400 percent of original. So essentially a factor of four in either direction. And it is in percentage, which means to say that these preset buttons here are percentage of the original. We can go down to 25 percent real quickly. If we want to do something in between, we can drag and get close, and then we can use the plus buttons or the minus buttons to then increase or decrease the tempo. And the slider or the thinner buttons increase by one one hundredth of a percent, as you can see, and the larger buttons increase by one percent at a time. This little button over here to the right of the of the tempo readout is a reset button which when you click it will automatically reset to 100 um, percent. A couple of additional things here although we can only go to 25 percent on playback and that is a limitation based upon the technology that we're using in this build. If we go slower than 25%, we cannot play it back in this screen without having a lot of errors or problems. But you can actually get lower than 25%. How would you do that? Well, you could export a video at 25%, and then that video, when you opened it up again, would play back at 25%. But since it's exported, it's a new video, and the system will think it is playing at 100%, which it will be. So then if you reduce that tempo by 50%, you're going to have 50% or half of 25%, which gets you down to 12.5%. And in fact, you could even go lower. And then that will actually allow you to play it back on the screen at a rate that is slower than 25%. And again, if you were to export that a second time, then you would have an exported video uh, that would be slower than 25% as well. So keep that in mind as you investigate the need to go lower than 25%. Two last things here and then we'll finish up. When you apply tempo and you change the tempo of the video that's open, it will apply that change to the entire video except for any areas where there are loops. And if you have loops set up, it will not change those areas. So if we've changed it to 25%, that means everything on this video right now, except this loop, which is 100%, and this loop, which is 100%, will be at 25%. But the beauty of loops is that we can actually individually customize each of these. So if we want this one to be at 50%, and we want this one to be at 30%, we now have three different tempos set up in this particular video. The loops are 30 and 50 and everything else is 25 percent. So that is how you apply tempo to a particular video that's open. Loops will give you loop specific settings and if there are no loops then whatever tempo you apply will apply to everything else except for the loops. Lastly, and I think I said this a little earlier but just in case I haven't, when you export then Whatever you have on the screen here, if you've changed tempo, depending upon which of these export options you choose, you will actually create a new video in which the video that you play back will have these changes, these tempo changes embedded into it. And there will be a separate video on exporting in which we'll cover some of these things in more detail with regard to exporting and how that works. So with that, we'll conclude this training video.